Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're almost in the new year now. 2024 is like a week away from now. And of course you have to start off the year with some great apps on your device like this one right here. It is called Magic Eraser. Now, when you see an app like this, that it's actually free and it has a very simple UI, you might think it won't do the job as it should, but it's actually an amazing app. It allows us to remove different objects from your photos so all you have to do is just load the photo that you want to use and now here we have the photo just select the area where we want to delete an object and tap the button right here once we go here again you can see a very simple ui here we have the mark tool right there so we can make this bigger and what's really cool is that actually when you highlight the objects that you want to remove from the picture you don't need to be very precise like i can highlight this boat right there and just tap this button in a couple of seconds, we will have that object removed from the photo. You can see how good that actually works. And then we have the sun. All I have to do there is just tap to highlight it. And again, just tap here and we're good to go. In a couple of seconds, again, it removes the object and you can see how great of a job it does. You tap the apply button and there you go. Here you have the result. The objects have been removed from the photo and it actually looks amazing. The next app for the video is called Top Box. This app allows you to lock any app you want with your face ID or a passcode. Now there are a ton of apps on the app store now that will do this, but what's really cool about this app is that it actually gives you different profiles. So right there at the top, you can switch between different profiles. So we will have child, child mode, private mode, read mode, work mode, land mode. So when you want to give your iPhone to someone, you know that all you have to do is just switch to the land mode and all the apps that you want will be locked. So right here, you can choose the apps that you want to lock or the apps that you want to block, which means that they will be hidden from the home screen. So you tap there, you will have here all the different categories. Of course, just lock any app you want. Tap the OK button and that's done. You can enable notifications here if you want to. And again, you can choose to lock with a passcode or you can use your face ID or touch ID, whichever one your iPhone has. You will also have here a few restrictions like prevent apps from being deleted. You can block apps from being installed and also you can disable in-app purchases directly from here. The next app for the video is called Magic Picture in Picture. This app allows to just play pretty much everything you want on the picture in picture mode. Things like PDFs, you will have different like text files, images, movies, maybe content that you have on your clipboard, a web page, you have stopwatches, clocks there, anything you want, maybe a counter or anything else you want. So if I just want to use one of these, all I have to do here is just tap show on the picture in picture mode. And you can see here we have a counter. I can of course move it around just like you would do with a video on the picture in picture mode. And I can count from here. So you will see the 10 seconds forward right there, it goes up. Then right here it goes down. It's as simple as that. So you will have pretty much the ability to just add any of your documents that you have into the picture in picture mode with this app. Next up is folder shortcuts. Now this is really useful. With the files app on iOS, you will have the widgets on the home screen, but it will only show your recent files. Well, with this app, what you can do now is just choose whichever files or folders you want to display right on your home screen. So if I just tap here, it goes to that folder on the files app and it's pretty cool. So here we have the app. All you have to do here is tap to add a shortcut. Once you tap here, you can choose maybe a folder or a file on your files app. So if I go to choose a folder, all I have to do here is just select a random file within that folder and then that folder will be added here. So if I just select this file, we will have that right here as we have the documents here, which I already have added. Now, when you go to add the widgets, here we have two smaller widgets. When you go to add these, you will have the list of the folders here. So it's one, two. So if I want to have the second one, which is the documents on this widget, all I have to do is tap and hold tab the edit button and right there it shows shows position number two. So I can switch between the first and the second folder that I have on the app from here. And then of course have it right on the home screen. The next app for the video is a wallpaper app called mini wall. It's actually a pretty cool app that will offer you some really high quality wallpapers and they all have this minimal look, which makes your device look even better. So he will have the home screen, a search bar right there at the top, of course, and then you will have 
the wallpapers that are hot right now are popular and then of course you will have here just random wallpapers you can pick from and you will have also your favorites right there then you will have a list here of all the different categories of wallpapers that you can browse on this app going into one of them you can see here some really cool wallpapers that you can get for your device now right here we'll see all the different details regarding the wallpapers and of course download them from here the next app for this video is called black magic and this is one of my favorite apps out of this video it allows you to shoot videos but you can control everything manually this is how good this app is so here we have at the top right there we have all the controls we have the lens you can see we can switch between all the different lenses right there we have the frames per second and then it has the scroller right here that lets you on an instant just change the frames per second right there then we have the shutter speed and we have all the different controls here the iso the white balance the tint everything can actually be controlled from here of course you will have the button here that gives you the slider to zoom in and out now when shooting videos this will be actually very very useful and it will make your video look much much smoother then you will have here the contrast you will have here also the flashlight which you can enable and disable from here so everything basically can be controlled manually for your camera so if you're just passionate about shooting videos on your iphone and you want to have everything under control black magic is a free app which you can use to have everything under your control next up we have another amazing free app it's called pictura and it allows you to enhance your photos via ai so it's simple to use all you have to do is just pick an image here from your camera roll and once you have added an image, you will have here two different like modes. You will have the general one and then you will have also the detailed one. So all you have to do here is switch between standard and also the detailed one, which basically lets you choose how much you wanna improve your picture. Once you have done that, all you have to do is tap on enhance right here and wait for a few seconds for this to finish now what this will do is that it uses ai to actually enhance the quality and the colors of the picture and it also will add more size will basically make bigger the picture in pixels which is always great when you want to have a really high quality image next up we have another wallpaper app now i have shown this app on one of my monthly apps videos before but it's actually really awesome and it gets updated all the time with all the new wallpapers now as the name of the app says stock it basically adds all the wallpapers all the stock wallpapers from all kinds of different devices so right here we have the vivo x100 pro wallpapers all the new wallpapers that get released basically from like different companies maybe apple or samsung or google whoever releases new wallpapers with their devices all those wallpapers will be right here so you will have the trending ones right here then you will have random wallpapers and going here you can switch between like different companies so here we have the apple ones we have all the android ones right there asus google all you have to do is just pick one of the companies and it shows you the latest wallpapers the stock wallpapers from that company once you have of course chosen the wallpaper you want to download tap right there and download it to your device the next app for the video is called theme me now anyone that likes to customize their device this is an app you need to have on your iphone now first of all here we have a couple of widgets from that app so here we have this one with four apps which of course you can customize and pick the apps that you want to see here and we have a one there with like a thousand apps or whatever that number is so you can see a lot of apps there that you can have on one widget now it looks crazy but it also does work so if i just want to open the app store i can do that directly from there so as easy as that you can open any of those apps and again you can customize this you can change these apps and just choose whichever apps you want to see there which is actually pretty awesome now going into the apps you will see here the widgets the first screen here will be the widgets we have some really cool app launchers right here that make your home screen actually look really different then of course you will have widgets for your lock screen you will have all kinds of different widgets here we have the ones for christmas and new year's and you have all kinds of different widgets you can download then you will have also charging animations which you can use for your iphone 
you can see here some pretty cool charging animations that you can add to your lock screen once you plug in your device to charge you will have wallpapers as well and then you even have themes here packs of icons which you can download actually to your device and make your device look really really different and the last app for the video is called mock upper it allows us to mock up your screenshots into devices so here we have the device we have it will of course show the device you're using it on in this case we have the 15 pro max here now what's different about this app is that you probably have seen a ton of apps that do this on the app store but it not only uses images it also supports video so we can tap here shows the camera roll and we can choose a video from there so there we go i have loaded a video there and here we have the device we can change that if we want to and we have this of course mocked up with the video right there how cool does that look now once we're done with that all we have to do is of course just export this and it will be saved under the camera rolls so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button and of course subscribe for more if you want to download any of these apps they will be linked right down below in the pinned comment thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one